Hello friends, let us see the muddy heads puzzle today. A mother tells her two children, a boy and a girl, to play without getting dirty. However, while playing, both the children get mud on their foreheads. The mother says, at least one of you has a muddy forehead. She then asks the children to answer a yes or a no to the question. Do you know whether you have a muddy forehead? The mother asks the question twice. Assume that a child can see whether his or her sibling has a muddy forehead, but he cannot see his or her own forehead. And also assume that both children are honest and they answer the question simultaneously. The mother again asks the same question. Do you know whether you have a muddy forehead? So what will be the children's answer to the question asked by the mother each time? Let us assume that S be the statement that son has a muddy forehead and D be the statement that daughter has a muddy forehead. Now, when the mother puts up the question that at least one of you have a muddy forehead, then it means that she is trying to convey that S union D is always true. That is, S can be true or D can be true. Now, son knows that D is true, but he does not know whether S is true. So, he will say no assuming that S is false. That is, when the mother asks the question for the first time, the son is able to see the daughter's muddy forehead and he replies that he himself does not have a muddy forehead. This is because the mother puts up the question in such a way that at least one of you should have a muddy forehead. So the son realizes that out of the two children, one of them surely has a muddy forehead. So when he sees the muddy forehead of the daughter, he simply says a no that he does not himself have a muddy forehead. Similarly, the daughter also can see the muddy forehead of the son and she too replies that she does not have a muddy forehead. So, when the mother asks the question for the first time, both of them say no, that they do not have a muddy forehead. But after the son has answered no to the first question, the daughter can determine that D must be true. That is, the daughter definitely has a muddy forehead. Similarly, the son can also realize that he himself must have a muddy forehead. So when the mother asks the question for the second time, both the children answer yes that both of them have a muddy forehead. Stay tuned and keep watching.